Now, following Thursday's final and confirmed vote count, basic law dictates that President Reuven Rivlin will then have just one week to meet with all the Knesset party leaders and appoint one to form the next government as prime minister. While keeping in mind how divisive this last election has been, President Rivlin has announced that for the first time ever, his marathon of meetings will be broadcast live on all media channels, and this in a bid to maximize government transparency. The announcement came as Rivlin visited the Central Elections Committee in the Knesset on Wednesday to oversee the count and meet with committee chair and high court justice Hanan Melsel. And while there, he thanked the committee for making sure that Israelis were given a fair election and that the will of the people is being expressed accurately. That being said, ultimately, the choice for who will become the next prime minister does rest with Rivlin and not the public, as the president is neither obliged to choose the party leader with the most votes, nor any particular party leader at all. Though such a choice is typical, and indeed Prime Minister Netanyahu is expected to be chosen again, both as the Likud party's leader and as the person most likely to be able to form a stable coalition. And finally, once a prime minister-elect is chosen, he or she would have 28 days with possible extensions to negotiate with the other parties and build a strong alliance of 61 Knesset seats or more. But if the first attempt is to fail, the president would then confer with the parties to choose another person to attempt to build a government. And then any later attempts would be given an ever-decreasing time limit until elections are finally called anew. Still, though, again, this is unlikely, as Netanyahu, with at least 65 seats in the right-wing bloc, is highly expected to win out.